Hello, my name is Henry Van Winkoop. I'm a second year on the UVA men's soccer team and I'm a digital creator. Ever since I was little, I've always uh, made videos with my brother. He was more, always more into it than me, so I sort of, I sort of like got into it because of him, I would say. Um, but it really, ha how it really happened was like over COVID, I was bored just like everyone else, and I TikTok was blowing up at the time. It was becoming very popular, so. Naturally, I wanted to make a video like go viral because who doesn't? <laughs> so I tried various techniques. I tried uh, I tried soccer skills. I tried magic videos. Um, I tried doing little trends, and then I've, at some point I tried some VFX edit where I was um, standing on my couch and falling onto a glass table. Um, from like various different angles. It, it, it blew up, it went absolutely crazy. It got like 30 million views. It was sort of like, it was sort of like an addiction after that. I wanted to, I wanted to make more and more and I wanted them to do well. Um, and I really got into the VFX stuff. I, I learned After Effects and then I learned, uh, I learned Final Cut Pro. My brother was, um, he was very good at everything with cameras. Um, he, he taught me like almost everything I know about like Final Cut Pro and how to like use my camera. So he, he's taught me everything I know about video editing. Um, the VFX stuff I taught myself through uh, YouTube tutorials. I love having original ideas. I, um, it's 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 something that makes like it makes me stand out from other creators. I would say that I can make these original ideas, and then people are like, "Whoa, I've never seen that before," and it it can go viral that way. So my favorite video is the one where I throw a basketball over my head and it goes in slow mo, and then. I run around and I dunk it in. Shot clock at seven. James, two defenders on it. Caldwell Pope inside. He's tied up by Green. Throws it back up top. James puts up the three. Oh, it's good. That idea and that concept went very viral. I sort of started a trend with it. I got a lot of like consistent viewage from that. So it was just it was just the idea that was like very creative and original that I came up with myself. So. I'm very happy with that that video. I come up with a lot of the uh, ideas for my video through like brainstorming sessions. I'm often like in my bed at night or something, and then an idea pops to me. I created I've created a uh, a notes with um, hundreds, probably thousands of ideas on it. I've used I use a lot of tactics when it comes to making my videos. I usually don't just go in like this this idea is going to do well because I think it's really cool. On the occasion, I do that, but I make them in a way that I think they're gonna do well on the app. Like, like I use like text, or I use some like some hook at the beginning, um, or just create something like very original, very different, so people want to watch it all the way through. So, I have this list of ideas, and I I choose one of them, and then I I go through my head. Or sometimes, if it's a really complicated idea, I write, I scratch it down on a piece of paper how I would go about editing it and how I would go about each step in the video so that I can fully get every shot I need. Some of, the, some of these VF edit, VFX edits can look really, uh, really silly <laughs> when, when, you, when you're not looking at the final product. I just imagine my, looking at myself from outside and like, I look really stupid right now. <laughs> It can take from 30 minutes to 10 hours for a video. I would say on average it's like an hour or three hours. I was I was watching the basketball game and thinking if I could like create a video in this in this basketball arena, it could be really cool. But I didn't know what I could do for just from the stands. I had this little flyer in my hand, and I was like, what if I threw the made it into a paper airplane and then threw it? into 
the basketball hoop from the stands. So I, en I ended up acting it out and got I got my friend to film me because he was there with me. And I just acted out the motions and pretended to like throw a paper airplane. And then I sort of like celebrated after. Um, and then I edited in the, the paper airplane. A lot of p people believed it was real and it went very viral. It got like 20 million views. Um, and then I ended up doing it again because I like to like copy my successful videos and I got another 20 million views on the, the next video that I did of that. I've been able to uh, gain a lot of connections and sponsorships through, uh, through my videos, especially the ones that go like mega viral. I've worked for one of my, one of my favorites is Roback. I'm actually repping right now. Um, I've, I've worked for them, I've created VFX videos for them, and then I've worked for, um, let's see, Hype Flags, they make some cool flags. I've worked for Clocks and Colors, it's like a jewelry brand. Um, I've worked for Young and Reckless, they make some like some cool clothing. Um, it's, it's like TikTok marketing, I would say, for them, because um, that's that's where they find me. They find me on TikTok and they reach reach out to me in my uh, my Instagram DMs. It, I really like making, being able to make like original content um, that no one's seen before, and then being able to get the feedback from the viewers and from my friends. It, it really makes it like worth it, um, and it's fun to do. Like I enjoy the process of making videos.